this video I show you three inexpensive knife sharpening tools which you can combine to a knife sharpening system. And this system you can attach somewhere on the basic model of the Victorinox Venture. Like this you can keep your knife sharp anytime and anywhere. Hello YouTube, welcome to another video about the Victorinox Venture Collection. Today's topic is how you can attach a knife sharpening system somewhere on the belt carry loop or on the sheath from the basic model of the Victorinox Venture. The knife sharpening tools which I propose to attach on the basic model of the Venture are not as big as other field sharpeners you know. Nevertheless, you can use them as primary knife sharpening system. Later in this video, I will show you a trick how you can exploit the full potential of the length of such small sharpening tools. But of course, you can also carry a bigger field sharpener in the backpack and use them as backup. On the Venture Pro model, you have these two holes in the ground sheet of the carrying system. Here you can stick in the two sharpening rods from the kit, like this, like this. Now, you can hold them on place with the sheet like this. And now you have a fantastic sharpening system. The disadvantage of the sharpening system is that these are not diamond rods. This was a matter of a price. And uh, if the knife has 59 rock well, it takes a bit of time to resharpen the knife with these rods. But I will tell you more about it in the next video. But now let's go back to the basic version of the Victorinox Venture. And here we need the ideas how we can attach these sharpening tools somewhere on the belt carry loop or on the sheet. And I will give you a fantastic sharpening tip. Everyone who bought a Victorinox Venture and is aware of the blade geometry, he bought this knife because he want to have a cutting devil. So again, this knife is not primarily a lever tool or a chopping knife or a betoning knife. In order to get the maximum cutting, slicing and carving power, you have to be able to keep the cutting edge very, very sharp. And that's why it makes sense to go a little bit deeper in this topic. How to sharpen the knife at home is a different story and not topic of today. There, I guess most of you have a big or better, more precise device or machine to sharpen a knife. And for those who don't have an expensive, high precision sharpening system at home, I highly recommend the video from next week. There, I show you a fantastic DIY solution. But the topic of this video is how you can sharpen your venture in the field. And for that, it's super important to know that if you want to keep the factory angle of 32.5 degrees, you have to lift the spine exactly 6 millimeters. In order to be able to control these 6 millimeters, I made a little step in this little band on the rubber ring. Can you see this step? So from here to here are six millimeters. So I can take this band, put it on the surface of the diamond grinder. And now I know I have six millimeters. So this is the angle I have to sharpen with. So now back to my ideas, how you can store the proposed sharpening tools on the basic model of the Venture. I would say let's start with these super cheap diamond grinding plates from China. So uh, you can order them for two bucks, including the, the shipping cost, at least for Switzerland. And I know them since many years. And yes, at the beginning they are quite rough, but after using them a bit, they lose a bit of aggressivity and then they work for a long time okay. So you won't get razor sharp results with it, but I would say close to. And combined with the third system, I will show you, these things are quite useful, at least in my opinion. 
but the highlight is that they fit exactly in the belt loop. And they don't fall out, they hold on place. And if you want to secure it, you can make such a rubbering, secure it, and this is perfect. And you have still enough place for the belt. Look at this. No problem. The link to order this diamond plate you find in the description box below. And yes, this plate is a little bit short to use it. That's why I'll show you a trick now. For the ones who don't like these cheap Chinese diamond grinding plates, I have another idea. And this is a diamond grinding plate from DMT. You can order these DMT diamond grinding stones uh, in three grids. Uh, I guess uh, rough, fine and super fine. This is the fine one, the red one is the fine one. And I like to attach them with hot glue here. For that you need a bit hot glue and a lighter. Just make two points. So. Now let it cool down. So now you have a high quality diamond grinding stone on your sheet. And if you need the six millimeters, make again a step here in this rubber band. So I didn't made it here. And you have the six millimeters and you know the exact angle you have to keep to sharpen this knife. I like it. The disadvantage of this solution is that you can't remove the belt carry loop. So for example, if you want to use your sheet as blowing tube. So if you want to remove the grinding stone again, no problem. With a little bit strand, you can tear it away again. Now I want to show you a second possibility how you can attach such a DMT grinding stone. And for that you just need two rings from a bicycle tube. And now you can attach the grinding stone, stone like this. So this works also perfect. In order that your trousers don't get dirty, I would recommend that the diamond uh, side face against the cordura strap like this. This is another perfect solution. Such a DNT grinding stone costs about 10 bucks and the link to order it you find in the description box below. 
Now I showed you two solutions for a diamond grinding stone, a very cheap one and a high quality one. But to be honest, my favorite way to keep a knife sharp is a leather strop. I really like to pull my knives over a leather strop and probably you have to do it more often because you remove just a little bit but it's quite easy to keep your knife razor sharp. If your knife is really dull you first need a diamond grinding plate but after I like to pull my knives over the strop to make it razor sharp. So these strops I made out of this leather. So this has a thickness about 1.5 millimeter, a little bit more I guess. And uh, I just cut some, some, some stripes with the uh, with white of this uh, Cordura band. This is I guess 25 millimeters, one inch on 5 inch, so 25 millimeters on 125 millimeters, something like this. So I made two stripes, one is with the grinding compound on it and the other one is to cover it, like this. And this side you can use for the super high-end finish. To attach these leather strops on the knife, I go through the belt carry slot here then I made again such a rubber ring, put it over. So now I would say this is perfect and you can carry these leather strops without making your pants dirty because you have a cover. And to be honest I have problems to find the best solution for my leather straps to maintain them. So, uh, this is a silicon carbide. This works quite well. Uh, this are, is a, a cheap Chinese diamond paste and this is an expensive diamond paste from DMT. And I struggle always with this diamond paste on the letter strop. I don't know what I made wrong, but it doesn't really work well. Uh, this bar has, uh, I guess, uh, aluminum oxide inside. This is the funny thing. This has a quartz inside and uh, <laughs> it works very well, but it's quite rough, it's quite rough. And uh, this Puma paste has aluminum oxide, so I would say these two are my favorites. If you need such a thin leather for leather strop, you need a bit tension on the leather strop that you can pull the knife from both sides. And now I'll show you how I make this. So my trick is to make a little hole at one end take a little stick go through the belt carry slot of the sheet push through the stick and now I have that so now I can give a little bit tension here Hold it and now this works perfect. For the absolutely special finish, take your cover letter strop, pull through the stick, give tension again, and now you can make the finish. Wow, and this knife is super sharp. <laughs> so my friends, I started recording in the rain. Now the sun is shining. I think this is a good sign for this video. 
So this was my idea how you can attach, how you can add a well-working sharpening system to your basic model of your Victorinox Venture. For me, it has a big advantage if you can attach a sharpening system on the knife because you can't forget it at home and you can't lose it. And uh, such things happen to me all the time. So if you use these, these ideas as primary sharpening uh, system or just as backup, it's up to you. But for me, it's important that I have something on me which I can't forget at home. <laughs> so that's it for today. I hope this was interesting for you. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you next Friday. Ciao.